Yep. Two, I know. one. Hey, everybody. How y'all? Promise me here. I know it's late. Why is it late? Because I'm in Greensboro right now. We're doing another pop up podcast. Unfortunately, I'm not at the tower right now at 301 North Main Street. Trust me, we will be there next week. We will, because I pay the bill. And I ain't got time not to be there while I pay the bill. Shit, it, 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 yeah. it, it. <laughs> like, that. That is that. That is just it. But we are here in Greensboro. Well, I pay the bill. Hey, he does. <laughs> What's good? He does. Usually, I have an introduction. Usually, I'd be like, you know, a short introduction and let everybody else introduce themselves. Right now, I have to introduce this brother. When I mean he is literally a key figure in my life. On the oh, entrepreneur man. tip, on just life lesson tip, as a promise, you got it, keep going. This man right here moved up here in North Carolina, what, 2012, something like that, 2014. We got linked up, and it's, it's just been crazy ever since. That's all I can say. That's a good word. Cra- I mean, crazy. <laughs> I mean, it just is. And um, yeah. Like, I have nothing but good things to say about this uh, uh, brother. I got nothing to say, uh, nothing good, uh, nothing but good things to say about everything that he's doing. Russell Mar- Morgan, everybody. Russell Morgan, everybody. What up? What hey. up? If you uh, hear somebody chewing chicken nuggets in the background, it's <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> my six year old. We on dinner time around my house. So, that's that it. But yeah, good to be here, brother. I uh, pre- appreciate the, uh, the, the warm introduction. Definitely. <laughs> we have to get in there. It's all good. Hey, hey, that's that's what it is on the Papa podcast. Hey, we we just gotta get to it. I'm popping up. How about that? Hey, and that's what it is. <laughs> so, man, first off, to everybody who don't know you, go ahead and give them a, just a little bit of background, just a little bit. Well, 1975. Nah. Um, <laughs> so no, man, I'm. Um, you know, again, man, um, you know, glad to be on your show, brother. Um, good to see, um, you know, young cats just, just, just pushing the envelope and um, stepping into, stepping into the bigger and bigger and bigger shoes, you mm-hmm. know. Um, you know, I've been, <clears throat> I've been in these, in these, you know, in these Greensboro streets for a long time, man, just trying to, you know, figure out you know what my lane was yeah um and i found in a you know a very unlikely place um just on a humbug wound up um with a part-time job basically um, working with a kid that had what they called at the time special needs we don't really say special needs much anymore but Mm -hmm. that's what it was then and um you know i didn't know at the time that that is what would be the 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 um would become sort of the, the focal point of everything that I do now mm-hmm. is you know working um within population of folks with developmental disabilities so um <clears throat> since that time I've put um going on 20 years into you know this industry locally I've worked with dozens and dozens and dozens of people and mm-hmm. dozens of families um <laughs> Yeah, my company Morgan Support Services just celebrated uh, ten years of providing mm-hmm. um, services here in town. Okay, so um, just last year, uh, we opened up a new location in Winston. That's right. Um, we just moved into some residential services in Winston. Mm. Um, you know, we um, we're doing a lot, man. Um, it's a lot to be done. Definitely. Um, what I've what I've gathered over the, the years is just that you know, um, you can point at any group of people. Um, they all got hopes, they all got dreams, and and you know, a lot of times what's missing is, you know, a person or a situation to sort of serve as a catalyst to push mm-hmm. things along. And I've I've just kind of found myself 
you know, at this point in my life, kind of becoming that catalyst. Gotcha. You know, um, at one point it was really about me, you know, sort of pursuing a bunch of personal goals and that type of thing. And now it's morphed a little bit into, you know, I'm really starting to get a lot of, um, <clears throat> a lot of happiness out of helping other folks pursue about. their goals and, and um, you know, just sort of being a part of a lot of winning situations is 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 pretty cool. So excellent, excellent. So taking a step back, taking a step back real quick. Okay. Knowing, knowing, and I know the whole background. I do. You know, for the music and stuff like that. I know that background. We may get into that. We may not. Right now, I really want to get into some of the future things or future endeavors and stuff like that. So the first question I have to say is what differentiates you from everybody else in the mental health field now I already know I know I know when that, when that, whenever I'm on the show it's, it's a hell little, of a question it's, it's a different it's a different little vibe or whatever it, side note everybody out there if you don't know I'm promise man I'm as simple as can be there's a lot of things or whatever but if you see me on the show and you've seen my uh, past episodes you talk, you're talking about somebody who comes out here and really just gets to some nuts and bolts questions and really trying to get things answered and, and see how everything is. So back, in, back to the question, what differentiates you from everybody else who's in the game? Because there are a lot of other agencies and stuff out here like that, but what, what, what is that one thing that makes Morgan Support a little bit special or makes just your, um, the, the way you handle business a little bit special? Um. You know, man, I, I'm, I, I am honestly, honestly, um, very reluctant to take a lot of credit in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, I am 100% convinced that there is just a tremendous amount of undue and undeserved favor that that I have mm -hmm. um, from above. Mm -hmm. I didn't do a thing to earn it. Um, but what it has done, to answer your question, is put some really, really good people mm -hmm. in place all along the way, at key periods of time along the way, um, that, <clears throat> that understood who it was that we could be in people's lives. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I haven't had to, like create a whole lot you know what I mean it's yes. like I've just you know I've just kind of provided a platform an initial sort of philosophy of, of who we can be and then I've just been blessed along the way to, to keep running into people that get it gotcha <laughs> you know what no, I'm saying, I'm saying. No, totally. so you know I um you know and I, that you know and I guess if anything um Recognizing those people when I see them and snatching them <laughs> for somebody else to get up. Maybe maybe that's what I've done. That's great. Um, but you know this is a this is a people industry, man. Yeah. Like like we are literally dealing with with lives. This ain't burgers. It ain't widgets. It ain't you know rims. You know mm -hmm. it's people's lives, and it and it really takes people to um, to push this thing down the road. So I, I've really been fortunate in that way. Um, and that's I, I, the people factor is what separates, um, or, or not even separates. It's just kind of what makes us stand out a little bit. Gotcha. Because yeah. I, I know for a fact um, earlier um, I was watching um, a little YouTube clip, and I sent it to you. You already know, and was talking about being an entrepreneur versus an entrepreneur. That was interesting. Um, it, it was a very interesting clip. If you I never know, even heard the word entrepreneur. I, I haven't until today. I haven't. And it, it, and and the way he was explaining how certain companies, certain people, certain um, uh, uh, um, uh, ideas are cultivated around gathering right people at the right time to push a company forward. You know what's funny, man? Like, you, rem you remember remember the clip out the that, that that post I showed you that somebody put up on IG? Yeah. And and yeah. the young lady in the background made that comment about me. Yeah. And she was like, Russell ain't shit. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and, but what she said after like the Russell ain't shit, but I probably heard that a billion times. <laughs> For a billion different reasons, but it was what she said after that that really, 
just really, um, you know, just kind of rubbed me wrong because it, it it was just the total opposite of who I really am. Gotcha. When she was like, you know, if it ain't about him, he don't want to have nothing to do with it. And I'm like, how could she say that? Um, probably just not knowing me. Yeah. But, you know, it's, I mentioned it because it's really the, the antithesis of, of, of what I'm all about. And so what you were referring to about the post mm -hmm. that you and I were looking at earlier, you know, I, that, that resonated because, <clears throat> you know, again, it is finding – or, or, or being open to good people coming into the mix and being able to um, cultivate mm -hmm. what it is they do well within the thing that we've got together. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. To where it, it's never my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's our thing. Like, yeah. we, we look good. <laughs> you Definitely. know what I'm saying? That, if we fuck up, we fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. So, um, I don't think, and I don't, I don't think a lot of companies really look at uh, on that standpoint, or a lot of uh, employers look at it from that standpoint as it's an us type of factor, and that is one thing that you um, really try to drill into people. That's one thing that you really try to showcase to folk. That, <laughs> showcase. You know, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> um, it's my new favorite word, right? By show, showcase. Um, but but you really. Um, put together these these ideas you really put together these um situations that i think uh people either a learn from or b actually take accountability and try to become better people on that and i think that's one of those things that can't be taught i think it's one of those things that uh people get misconstrued when it works out and then certain people be like Oh, you're just trying to play folk or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still a touchy type subject or whatever the case is. But for you to really have that fine line, and we have talked about this before, you can play that 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 gray area really good, where you're doing some off the wall stuff as far as cool, innovative stuff. But then you come back on the clinical side or on the the legal side and be like, hey. I'm still in co compliance with the state or I'm still in compliance with what families want or whatever. What are your thoughts on that? These people have no idea that my son is doing karate moves. They don't. Shit. They, like, they like, don't. like three feet in front of us. <laughs> when I mean the pop up podcast is a real show. When I mean the pop up podcast is just like, like we really come out here and between everything, you know, we get a show and we get, Good content. This is what we do. Listen, I promise you, we're gonna get you on camera before we we're going. Okay, <laughs> we're going. Just give us five minutes. I <laughs> promise you, we're gonna we're gonna put you on shine. It's going to happen. It's going so to happen. Gonna relax. So check it out. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. So like, it really ain't. Again, nothing genius. Mm -hmm. It's just looking at at things. And seeing them for what they really are. So, like, you take a day program, right? Mm -hmm. So, historically... But for people who don't know who a day program is, um, they, it's a... So, it's, it's a facility-based yeah, ahead, ahead. It's a facility -based program where individuals will come for anywhere from 20 to 25 to 30 hours a week, five or six hours a day. And, you know, the goal of them being here is to um, acquire new skills, um... Um, reinforce old skills, you know, learn to live as independently as they possibly can, um, you know, and have as, as many cool and unique experiences as you can bring to it, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's that's what we do in here every day. Mm -hmm. So if you back up, say, I'll say like 12 years, right? Mm-hmm. What, what people looked for in a, in a good day program was how many things from that exist. <laughs> the pop up podcast is real. Let me tell you what just like my happened. Family, let me tell you if, my family is not letting me down tonight, brother. If you it, don't know. My damn son and karate kicking, my daddy <laughs> yelling around the corner and shit. Like, they, they killing me. This show. So. <laughs> So, so we we are we are on live record right now. Oh, well, we are. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
I'm getting over there. But so, so what I'm saying is that you wanted to incorporate as many things as you could find mm-hmm. out in the world into your program. Definitely. So, like, if the world's got a recording studio, you need to have a recording studio. Mm-hmm. If the world's got, you know, uh, in, 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 uh, in commercial grade kitchen, you need to have a commercial grade kitchen. Mm-hmm. If the world has, a, you know, a laundromat, you need to have some larger facilities, you know. Um, if they got a movie theater, you need to try to have some kind of movie theater. Gotcha. And, but it was like the whole thing was was that everything was was in house. Gotcha. These weren't people that were expected to do a whole lot out in the community. Gotcha. Right. So when I first started out was during this time period. So when I would hire people, you know, people would come in. I was, you know, why you want to do this kind of work? Oh, you know, I want to help people. You know, I got a passion. I'd tell them right then, you know, like. Don't say the word passion. Like, it's like, yeah. This is find another word. But, you know, I want to help people. All right, that's cool. We, yeah. are, we are going to help people. But what I really want to know is, what else do you know how to do? Because I'm trying to add pieces to what we got going on. So, like, oh, you know how to work on cars? Cool. Let's go buy, you know, a piece of junk car. Because I got a couple guys here that would love how to do oil change, learn how to do oil changes and change a tire. Um, there you, go. you know, oh, oh, you know how to make beats? Cool. I got some guys here that would learn, you know, learn to rap and learn how to, you know, produce and engineer and stuff. You know, you, you, you know how to sew, you know how to crochet, you, you, you know. So that's really where that comes from gotcha. is trying to find people that were interesting enough and skillful enough in certain areas Mm -hmm. so that I could offer them and their talent along with that passion to help people thing that they were talking about Mm -hmm. to the people that come to my program every day. That's what I'm talking about. And so we, once we had 20 or so people with 20 or so, you know, different ranges of talents and interests and stuff, we had a pretty thriving program and and it's got me sitting here looking like, you know, I put together the best thing ever, but what all I really did was just bring together like my, a lot of interesting people. That's what I'm talking about. So with with that being said and all that, and I already know where this is going to go. I know we're, we're just a, a little tad step ahead of everything, but you took that, 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 that knowledge, that drive, that energy, and you stepped into another realm. Mm. Now, Going back to the whole thing of why showcase is important. Do you see what's in the back? Do you see all these, 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 like, because I don't have any sponsors. This, 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 these are the sponsors right here for Russ because he sponsors all of that. The Five, the Shop Inc., Morgan Support Services, where we're at. And then this one right here, what is that? Right here, which is called Showcase. Showcase Sports. Now, mm. tell everybody, if you can, because, like, once again, I know it's kind of soil in the wraps. Maybe, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, I ain't about to say no whole lot. You know, but, <laughs> but it, it, it's, 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 what, it's. But well, what I will say is this, is that, you know, do you know who invented the wheel? No. You don't? I don't. I don't either. And I bet you nobody listening to this damn show does either. True. In fact, I've never even thought about who invented the wheel. Why is that? Have you? No. But I know who Which Michelin is? is. I know who Goodyear <laughs> is. I know who Firestone is. I know who uh, 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 Asante is. I know who Forgiato is. That's right. I know who has continued to perfect and innovate the mm. wheel. Right? Definitely. So, Showcase. You know, you say it in real plain words. It's a sports league. That's it. That's, that's it. all it is. That, that's, that's all we can say right but now. But damn it, it is the Rolls Royce <laughs> of sports leagues. <laughs> I promise you. That's it. You know what we what what we have done with Showcase, man. And you know, um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just so proud of. Uh, to see this vision that we've been talking about for mm-hmm. a minute really coming to fruition. Like even, I mean, it's some stuff that has happened today. I ain't even had a chance to tell you about. Oh, man. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it, it again, it goes back to the idea of, you know, who, who can we be in somebody's life? Definitely. Um, so, you know, the gist of it is this. 
how can we build an ecosystem around a group of people that will allow them to to see themselves in the highest possible light. Mm. You, you know what I'm saying? I do. I right? do. Because I, do. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's all it's all you know, it's all fabricated. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, like you've heard me say it a thousand times. You know, you could take you know, the top team out of the East with the NBA and top team out of the West, bring them to some little recreation center in whatever town you live in and just have them play in T-shirt and regular old pair of basketball shorts. It would not be obvious to somebody walking in there that this is the Los Angeles Lakers and that is the Boston, Boston Celtics. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. Like, I mean, they'd be like, damn, I mean, they some hell of a basketball players. <laughs> but, you know, it's the other stuff. The lights, it's the uniforms, the, the lights, it's the sound, it's the it's the it's the show. Gotcha. It is the show. That that shit is fabricated. Like it is that is a created thing. So in my mind, I'm like, well, if they can create something around this group of guys, why can't I create something around this group of guys that's to it. make this group of guys feel like that group of guys. That's I think I think that's it. I think that's all we can talk about right now. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you and everybody listening. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Pop, Promise Bank on Papa Podcast down here at MSS. You know what it is, Morgan Support Services. Um, Spitfire round. Let's just get into it real quick. You did touch on something that was very, 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 very interesting, which was who invented the wheel. With this being Black History Month, mm. how many people do you know who, or do you know who invented certain things that we use every day? Could you name a couple of them? Well, one, you know, jumps right out at me because we share the same last name, Garrett A. Morgan. Mm -hmm. Been at the stoplight amongst mm -hmm. a thousand other things that we use every day that mm -hmm. that man probably doesn't get nearly as much credit as he should get. Um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just I mean, like, let me get me started like, because it, it, I mean, I I mean the it, I the like, the amount of the amount of um oh, the the amount of contribution <laughs> that has been made by black people to this country is that that goes unheralded. Yeah. In the mainstream, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, obviously, I went to Morehouse, so you know, this stuff is is, is like that. That's your second class of the day. Is this kind of stuff? But gotcha. that's Morehouse. That ain't that ain't the school my little kid go to. You know, gotcha. he ain't gonna learn. He ain't gonna know nothing about Gary Morgan if I don't tell him. He ain't know Martin Luther King. He ain't know he mm, he he know Rosa Parks. I understand. The, the 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 faithful few as I call them. like no. that, I mean nothing bad but like, I mean they, it's they it's so it's it's so many so many people that have just contributed you know massive I mean Benjamin Banneker yeah DC I me mean, he, he laid he had the whole framework for the city the whole city <laughs> like hey guys y'all gonna build a capital okay cool boom I just That's designed it. it for you there you go That's it. Like I said, I mean, is I there a Benjamin Benjamin Bannock away in DC? No. So this is shit I'm talking about. Don't don't don't. The only street, the only recognizable thing that we have right now is Martin Luther King or oh. Malcolm X. Oh, yeah, we got that now. But that's it in like, every town, and they all look just alike. Exactly the like. Go through the roughest, mm. tough. Not even the roughest, tough. Just the no, no. It's, it's you know whatever that town's brand of. This is this is it. This is it. This is this is it. This is it. Yeah. MLK Boulevard <laughs> Avenue Street, which is you know, I mean it is what it is. That's our side of town, and it you yeah. know, um, but yeah, man, the, the contributions are tremendous, and you know, it's <clears throat> it's just crazy to think that you know we're on the press, you know, the, the precipice. Is my mm -hmm. new word for this week. Um, on the cusp of, you know, really doing something that if that if we really focus mm -hmm. and really stay true to the mission and mm -hmm. don't get lost in hoopla, yeah, just bullshit that, that normally throws people off track. 
I mean, mm-hmm. you know, this showcase thing could really be something special, man. Like, it could really be something special. And I'm just so excited about just being in a situation to be able to create definitely something. Definitely. One, you know? one thing that I do have to say, before we go, and I know all this, and, um, and I, I know I told you this or whatever the case is. One, one thing that I do recognize, see, and stuff like that is ball. Ball did this a couple you, years ago, right? Are you talking about Daddy Ball? Yeah, yeah. He he did this a couple years ago, right? Everybody laughed him. The NBA laughed him. Everybody did and stuff like that. No, nah, no, nah, they ain't laughing. They, but, but that, okay, they they laughed in public, but behind closed doors, who's like shit? That shit is it. It, it, yeah. <laughs> this some fucking genius. I mean, but but they, he. So this is what we gonna do? And, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah. Do you think? <coughs> do you think that you know? As far as a competitor, even though I know that there's different is or different things happening or whatever, but do you think a major competitor could come and recreate what you're trying to do in the sports league? I'm not going to throw no names out there like Special Olympics or nothing, but I'm just saying, uh, do you think? Nah, that and, and you know, I would be I would be surprised, and here's why, because. What has gotten us to the point where the idea of showcase even makes sense is like we've been we've been piloting this concept for like two years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like like it literally takes, <clears throat> you know, there are <clears throat> you got people with disabilities, mm-hmm. you got people without disabilities, mm-hmm. and it is the bringing together of the two. And doing it in such a way that um, that it doesn't slow it down for persons that don't need it slowed down, but it doesn't have it too fast mm-hmm. for people that can't deal with it that fast. It's like it's dialed in, and it, and I just don't see how you could dial it in the way that we have if. Working in this in this capacity is not something that you do every day. There you go. You get what I'm saying? No, definitely. No, so, I, I do. And mm-hmm. like I say, it's just one of those questions that I like to ask. I, I want to um, get out there because you know, once again, this is a public forum. Knockoffs get knocked off. Hey, I'm just saying. Hey, 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 hey! You hear it? You hear it? <laughs> anyway, promise, Mangum. Hey, promise. <laughs> Promise Mangum Pop Up Podcast is what it is. A special edition all the way in here in Greensboro, North Carolina at Morgan Support Services, no. 500 North Spring Garden. Is that, is that, is North Spring Garden? Is it? Man, it, it's, it, it's, it's, look, it's 500 it's, Spring Garden Street. It's just Spring Garden Street. Though. 500 Spring Garden Street. We are out here. We are just, you know, great things are happening. Um, once again, uh, congratulations on everything uh, uh, beforehand. Congratulations um, to you too, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm just trying hey, to make it. Hey, look, let's do it. I'm just, I was just trying to make it. But, hey, hey, this is what it is. Also, talking about basketball, oh, let's go through everything. On Friday, not Saturday anymore, on Friday, February 15, 2019, guess what? Your boy, Promise Mangum, is producing. I guess that's the word now because I am not, you know, the owner, host, or anything like that. I'm just producing a show down at the Carolina Business Center. Don't know really where that is, but if you are familiar with uh, Charlotte, it is down the street from Cameo. That and and Waffle House. And Waffle House. That's, <laughs> that. So if you know where the Cameo and Waffle House is down there by the airport, guess what? You know where we're talking about. From 10 to 11, I will have about six, seven artists performing uh, some hits. Very good turnout. Um, was blessed enough to find somebody who let me in because of our previous engagement that we had on the 16th got shut down. Mm. Hey, city of Mecklenburg ain't playing about alcohol. Don't mm. know why. Don't know why, but they want they money. Mm. All right, the county of Mecklenburg, city of Charlotte wants they money. If you ain't got your your permits in order, they will shut you down, and that's what happened with me. But on February 15th, like I said. Hey, the party will be there. The VIP takeover. That's what it is. Promise Mangum. Russell Morgan. You know it. The word that y'all need to take away from this. Showcase. Showcase. That's it. 
That is it. And like I said, or like Russ said, we're about to have a little dance off or karate. I don't know what it is, but for the next minute, we are just going to sit here and have some fun. So let's go. <laughs> Yeah, we recorded. Like they're gonna see me up here doing all this.